Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Leos. Yes, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Happy, happy season. Happy Leo season. Happy Lionsgate portal. My beautiful Leos, this is your monthly read and you are highlighted, of course, for this month. And let's get into the synergy, beautiful ones. Now, I decided to just do you separately and not play with it, okay? Because I've been doing the all element reading, which would be Aries as well as Sagittarius with you. But I decided to go ahead and just make you separate off back because I know you like that. Uh-huh. You like to be front and center. And you beautiful ones, Leo, you certainly deserve to be. Okay. Let's get into it, my beautiful ones. Let's see what's going on in the energy. Happy Lions Gate Portal. I hope that you're all manifesting lovely. Yes. You know that I wish for all of those beautiful things for you, my beautiful Leos. Anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section, one-on-one -on -one bookings, as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may explore all of those beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you. Leo, let's get into it. Let's talk about what's going on in the energy. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages for the beautiful sign of Leo. Remember, these are general messages to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not, okay? Yeah, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it flow, okay? So let's get into it, my beautiful Leos. Let's talk about this energy. Again, if you have Aries and Sagittarius placements, that will be the part two of your fire sign readings but leo of course is highlighted in this energy this is your month happy birthday leos happy happy birthday we're starting off with the sacred destiny okay sacred destiny spirit give me cards for the energy of leo for the sacred destiny cards for the energy of leo my beautiful leos my beautiful sun babes Cut it out. Yeah, buddy. I just ended a live for Libra. And I talked about the purification uh huh, of the sun with the baby on the horse in the original tarot. That's what that represents. Purity. Someone being pure. All right? Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I like how the showers, these are showers being thrown over this sunflower, okay? This is a purification happening. Many of you are going through this cleansing, this spiritual cleansing that's going to lead you into this energy of success, okay? Straight success, Leo. I like it already. Bam. We're going to take those. That's what Spirit wants you to have in this energy, okay? And it's for, <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. All right? Beautiful ones. This is time for you to relax in this portal. Read a book, uh-huh, definitely upgrade on some knowledge, uh-huh, but you're upgrading on this knowledge, not more so that you can just be equipped with more knowledge. This is more so you being in the energy of being knowledgeable of self. So what I'm getting, Spirit is telling me for you to tap into energies, our books, our readings, our even activities that help you connect with yourself understanding you more so your flaws as well as your beautiful attributes okay this is you balancing things out you understanding your magic okay and how it should be applied all right because it's pressure <laughs> i know it's pressure but know that you need to relax in the energy of understanding yourself and how and when to apply the pressure, my beautiful Leos. You got adventures that's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of you will be taking a trip. Some of you will be going to the islands. Or you want to go somewhere that is 
paradise okay something that feels a little tropical in the energy adventures and even if you can't make it to this particular place that you have in mind there are atmospheres and places around you botanical gardens aquariums museums that have this energy for you to tap into okay so we got adventures that's here i like it i like it a lot wonders okay Look, you're being told to relax, tap into the adventures of life, as well as the wonders. Wow, this is a really mystical, magical place that you're going as you sit in this purification of you. I mean, it feels like your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, it feel like it. It do. I ain't gonna hold you. I wanna come. <laughs> I do, okay? Overall energy is stillness. This is all about you sitting in stillness right about now. This is what I said, getting to know you. Getting to know you. Getting to learn all about you. Yeah, I love it for you. Leo, oh my goodness, I love this energy. Let me calm down, Leo. Happy birthday. I get pumped when, you know, I, I don't know, you know, you are my us Libras, okay? You are definitely our polar opposite, okay? And it's fun to explore the energy with you, okay? It really is. Yeah, uh-huh, fire and air without... Look, without air, Leo, mm, your fire could burn out of control. Mm, I'm just saying. That's just an elemental fact, okay? Elementary fact. Uh-huh. While we're talking about the elements. I feel like I don't even need to go into this New Orleans deck for you because you've already been told what it is that's needed to relax. But you know what? It'll give you instruction. It'll give you instruction. I'll just pull a few okay it'll definitely <clears throat> give you some instruction on what to utilize in this energy okay to support you with going in relaxing and getting to know all about you okay yeah happy saturn return yeah happy saturn return beautiful ones yeah give me cards for leo spirit a few energies for leo thank you Thank you, Stu. All right. Patience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll need that. Focus. Oh, yeah. We'll pull four. Come on, Leo. Bam. Abundance. Yeah. There we go. And success with your overall energy and the last energy. Oh, yeah. And get loose with it. Get loose with it. Gratitude. Gratitude, beautiful ones. Okay gratitude is your overall energy yeah letting the universe know just how much you love what it's doing for you what it is that you see is coming into fruitation as well oh i love this wow okay beautiful ones you got patience out here you got focus you got abundance and get loose with it get loose with it patience beautiful ones okay the seeds you planted look your roots are recognized all right your ancestors recognize you mm -hmm. and it's a strong connection between you and them so please know practicing patience in this energy is when it is you'll soon start to see things move all right mm -hmm. and some of you are saying i've been patient enough and I'm tired of being patient. And some of you have simply learned how to adapt to learning more about you and who you are in that patience. Focus is here. It's required, okay? Many of you, your third eye is wide open. Mm-hmm. Your throat chakra is activated. Hmm. And I'm hearing there's going to be a new speech you speak when you talk your talk. Abundance is here. This is all about you being strong in this energy of knowing what is yours is already yours. It's yours. No one can take it from you. No, they can't. But get loose with it. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, go shake up something. Enjoy yourself. Let your hair down. Uh-huh. Or pin it up so that you can get down. But get loose. This is Mardi Gras, okay? This is first line energy. This is on bourbon. And they are letting loose. I mean, it's a little bit of every energy that is out here. Mm. Yeah, let loose. Explore your roots is what I'm hearing, okay? Explore your roots in a deeper way that causes you to focus in on really knowing who you are, okay? And again, your overall energy is gratitude. Practice gratitude. Spirit is telling me reveal this card. Flow. Let things flow. Don't try to control everything, Leo. Okay? Uh-huh. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Let's get into it. I'm going to go into the Morocco X cards. Spirit is telling me to tap into this energy. I keep looking over here at them. There's definitely more guidance to be given to you when it comes to the flow. And it will move right on in to the Tarot. Explore this energy, see what you got going on with the business and your boo or whatever else it is we gonna get into, okay? But let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. See what's going on. Araku X. Now, I love this deck because this is really an interpersonal deck and it talks straight to you, okay? So take what Spirit is telling you as really a nugget. Mm-hmm. Yeah of value, okay? Not just a clump of coal, but like a, a real golden nugget in this energy. Spirit, give me cards for my Leos, my beautiful Leos. My Leos, Leos. A Leo, Leo. Y'all know that's my thing for y'all. That's my son for y'all. Uh-huh. <laughs> it comes from the sun, jungle love, okay? Jungle love. And you are the king of the jungle, right? Uh-huh, yeah, that part. We got a flipper. Here we go. Bam. All right, let's talk about it. And we're going to pull one more. Spirit of singing off top. There we go. All right. Hmm. Let's see. All right, beautiful ones. Let's start with your overall energy. Physical health. Living an unhealthy lifestyle is decreasing your focus and energy. And remember, your card came out telling you to focus. So honor your temple. Adequate nutrition and exercise can help boost your concentration and energy levels, which can significantly increase the chances of personal success okay success with your overall energy so look this is what i'm seeing this is what i'm hearing that many of you have slacked up even if this is your regular you know regimen this is something that you need to go ahead and fall back to the basics when it came to what it is that you all started on this journey with and some of you need to just adopt this journey of your physical health being in this energy of knowing what your body needs, adequate nutrition, and it's going to help you with your focus. Yeah, I love this, all right? Look, scarcity mindset comes out. And of course, if you're not putting the right things in your body, it affects the way you think, right? A scarcity mindset makes it difficult to move forward and achieve goals. Focus on abundance. Practice feeling grateful Woo and gratitude was your overall energy. Quit playing. Practice feeling grateful. Get back to the basics, all right? This puts you in a more positive state of mind that will allow you to see more opportunities that are around you. Mm, yeah. Beautiful ones. Look at this one right here. This, this is your card and it had to come out for you. Self exhalation, okay? Self exhalation. Evaluating self importance is manifesting. 
This is what I'm saying, beautiful ones. This is about you understanding yourself. In prideful attitudes towards others. Let me read that back. Elevating. Elevating self-importance is manifesting in prideful attitudes towards others. self exhalation all right wow mm. elevating self that's you importance in manifest is manifesting this is something that's growing in prideful attitudes towards others. So it's like basically you could have gotten a big head or people see you with an ego, okay? And it's self-exhalation. And look, this is a lion. So this is why I said this is for you. This is a lion that someone is basically a kitten turning into this lion. I'll turn it upside down so you can see the lion. But... You start off just pure in the energy. Yeah. As a kitten. Mm, a, a cub, excuse me. A cub. Humility reminds you that success doesn't all come from what you have, but what you offer to others. Recognize your strengths and weaknesses. This is repeating exactly what I'm saying, beautiful ones. And be willing to learn from others to achieve more. Yeah, you're going to learn what it is that's holding you back, that keeps you in a scarcity mindset, or not knowing when to flex the power, like, you know, reading a room, but more so learning to read yourself, right? Wow. Wow relying on luck okay you got relying on luck that's here and um, counting on luck for your success instead of making your own luck luck doesn't decide trusting in luck to bring your you success means that you are not coordinating your efforts in such a way that you can achieve them remember luck favors those that are prepared mm, so yeah this is about you and your preparation you know while you're doing the things that you are skilled to do yeah you prepping this energy before you actually display it amongst others and this just comes with you know sitting with self having that talk with self right Small dreams comes out. Not dreaming big enough. That can create a high impact, meaningful life. Dream bigger. There's nothing to be ashamed of to have small dreams. But is it what you truly want? To reach higher heights, shift your mindset and dream a bit bigger. You are capable of so much more. Yeah. This is someone putting themselves in a box. You know, and it's something that you are holding back when it comes to your power that you're not really emphasizing or putting a highlight on it. And you should be, okay? This is going to be a part of you dreaming bigger and you actually tapping into all the gifts, the hidden gifts that you were given, okay? Beautiful ones, enjoy beautiful a beautiful diet in this energy with your physical health, okay? Because this is what's going to give you really that power that you're collecting in your Saturn return. Let's talk about it. Oh, let's talk about it, beautiful ones. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and pull on your purposeful and career. Give you some guidance with your career and what it is you're here for your purpose, all right? My beautiful Leo's. A Leo, Leo. Mm-hmm. That jungle love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all gotta check that song out for your birthday. Play it for your birthday. It's Morris Day in the time, okay? Morris Day in the time. 
North Star. Yeah, you're ascending. Yeah, there you go. More cards for my Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Leo energy. Leo energy. Thank you. Your energy feels really good. It does. I think I always like it here. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got that comes out. Mm, and we're going to pull four, okay? Overall energy. We'll pull, we'll look at that. And next one off top. Look, you got taking chances as your overall energy. Chances bring change, all right? So there's something that you're being told to take a leap of faith. It's time for a leap of faith in this situation. You know what that situation is, right? Be more courageous. That's you. In dealing with your finances. It may be uncertain, but it may lead to great results, okay? Take some chances, beautiful ones. Uh-huh. It's going to bring forth change. North Star, you're ascending, all right? Yeah. You're ascending, beautiful ones. You're facing the future with excitement as you follow your dreams and embrace your passions in life. You are now directed to your life's purpose. You know what it is you came to do. Uh-huh. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> maturation is here you're maturing leo i like it you are becoming more mature in handling your finances taking responsibilities and it's exciting but challenging it's time to be dependable period it's time to be dependable in your maturation okay watch out there is more than meets the eye. Be careful with whom you deal with finances with, okay? Someone might be taking advantage of your vulnerability. So yeah, there's a fox in the bush and they see you as prey. Be careful, watch out, just watch out, okay? Uh-huh, objective is here. Writing down your goals will help you in achieving them. Keep yourself on track to reaching your dreams one step at a time. This is where that focus comes in. Yeah, knowing what the objective is and focusing in on that one step at a time. It's important that you complete the first step before bouncing around to the second. You can certainly brainstorm and write this energy down or just keep track of it if you have any type of downloads or channel visions behind it. But ultimately, go back to the first step to complete that before you move on, okay? Yeah, let's talk about it. Now, we're gonna go into the... Tarot. However, Spirit is telling me to tap into the cosmic insights for you all. The cosmic insights for my beautiful Leos. Cosmic insights. Spirit, give me the cosmic insights for my beautiful Leos. Thank you. Cosmic insights for Leo. All right. For Leo, we'll pull four. My beautiful Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus energy. Okay, wow. Okay, <laughs> and four comes out once again. I mean, my goodness, yes, is your overall energy. Luck is on your side. Yeah, luck is on your side. And you just had a card to come out in the Morocco X deck telling you don't rely on it, but it's on your side. But it's requiring you to put in that effort to make it happen, okay? 
Wow, I like it. Look, challenges are here. Mm, oh, wow, this is being repeated to you, beautiful ones, okay? Look, challenges are here. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. Make a decision to work on inner healing. This is what that time is about for that relaxation in your first oracle, all right? So challenges to work through these challenges and also your inner healing, getting to know all about you. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, wow. Gold digger. Look, that's that fox energy that came out. They want your money being used. You could be being used by someone. Yeah, look out. Just look out for those foxes in the energy. And if you feel it in your gut that somebody's taking advantage of you in a relationship, because this is a man and a woman, and here it is you with the bag, okay? Flip and switch these energies. But someone is a gold digger in your energy. They are. Uh-huh. They are. They're a fox. They think they slick. They think they slide. Health comes out for you again, okay? Yeah, the, that water, those fruits, those vegetables. It says health issues could arise, all right? And I saw this come out in another one of your readings in the energy, okay? Please take care of your health. Take care of your heart. Take care of your spirit. Take care of your soul. Take care of your temple, beautiful ones. Yeah, water, fruits, vegetables, as well as... Go ahead and if you're seeing something happening in energy, see a physician, all right? And then if the physician wants to, you know, give you their take on what needs to happen, you also look into things that are going to support you on a holistic level as well, okay? Yeah, guardian is here. A lost loved one watches over you. You could have lost someone who is your guardian angel. They protect you. They guide you. Uh-huh. But they want you to take care of yourself. Right? Wow. They want you to take care of yourself, beautiful ones. This is coming through really strong. All right? My Leo's sun, moon, and rising energy, as well as your Venus. Wow. Beautiful message, okay? Please take heed. Hmm. Let's talk about it some more, beautiful ones. Let's get into it. <laughs> All you got to do is... Mm, mm, mm. Let's get into it, beautiful ones. We are going to go ahead and... Spirit is telling me to tap into the astral matrix. Mm -hmm. Let's get into some tarot. What's going on in the energy? Again... Celebrate, celebrate in this energy. It's your season, Leo. Happy Saturn return. Spirit, give us this energy for my beautiful zodiac sign of the Leo. The Leo's energy. Give me energy for my beautiful Leo's. Spirit cards for Leo. For Leo. I hope you are all really, you know, getting to know more about you in this season. Because really, that's what another go around a year is for you in this energy. Wow. Look what flipped over while I'm doing this, okay? <laughs> Yeah, while I'm talking about you and your year, the sun. Yeah, that flipped over. Of course, with the storyline, but we won't get into it right away. <laughs> but yeah, baby, it's all about you, boo. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely, there's some thieves in the energy, okay? There's somebody with the seven of swords, okay? There's somebody lying, stealing and cheating at... You're about to end. Look, you've clo you closed the cycle. Many of my Leos have already closed the cycle on this energy, and they're trying to find a way back into your energy, okay? And it's going to come through some treacherousness, some trickery, uh-huh, some slick, sly, fox, 
energy, okay? Might even be some blackmail is what I just heard. Mm-hmm. I heard blackmail. All right? Mm-hmm. Anyone who tries to extort you, please remind them that there are criminal penalties when it comes to that. Spirit, tell a story for Leo. That's what Spirit is telling me to tell you, okay? Yeah. Give me some energy for my beautiful Leos. My beautiful sun babies. Mm-hmm. Plenty of sun for you all in your season. Make sure you get some of it. Even if you have to go somewhere tropical, like your card said, you know, adventurous. There's an adventure that awaits you. You can travel to that adventure or create an oasis of that adventure, adventure for yourself, beautiful ones. Leo. Esprit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. All right. Damn. Wow. Can't let all these busts loose <laughs> as bad as they want to. Let's talk about it. Let's see what came out. And we'll get more out here. We're doing a spread, my normal spread, right? Wow. I like it. Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. And two off the top, I'm told. Damn. And that's that guardian angel watching over you right here with the temperance, okay? Let's talk about it. Mm. So we got the Knight of Swords that's out here. You've gone through a tower. Uh-huh. You've gone through a tower. You're sweeping away the residue from that tower, okay? Right about now. Mm-hmm. And you're taking a longer look at yourself in this energy. Knight of Swords is here. And this is about you going after it is what you want. Being assertive in this energy. You got the will of fortune that's here. This is you in the energy of being aligned when it comes to your destiny. Knowing what's for you. What is for you. And it looks to be a new opportunity and beginning when it comes to love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the ultimate love. You loving yourself more. Knowing what it is that you are actually... <laughs> worth like knowing your worth in its abundance and sharing those waters with others however this is a cup that whoever it is you're aligned with they're going to give you what you're giving them mm -hmm. it is they are ace of cups this is a new opportunity at prosperity and love as well as a new feeling a new feeling i love new feelings right Two of Wands is here. You possibly are making some plans to move forward in a direction. You could be making traveling plans. You could be at a distance from where it is you want to be. It could be across a body of water. You're definitely being guided to go after what it is you want in this energy, okay? Because you're in this energy of a Knight of Swords, right? And this is about you going after what it is you want. Two of Wands energy, okay? This is also Leo energy. Fire. It's Aries, but this is fire. Mm -hmm. This is about you getting out there, making that fire just burn, okay? You got the Ten of Pentacles that's here. There's something going on when it comes to family. Mm -hmm. A family structure as well as this is... What it is that's been built from the ground up, okay? Your dynasty, your legacy, uh-huh. This is also legacy wealth, right? Four of Swords. You're thinking a lot about your future and who it is you want to be on this Wheel of Fortune with you. Because you know that you're full of success. This is even you dreaming and just retreating Four of Swords, right? This is Libra energy. This is you retreating to really think about long-term planning and goals. Yeah. Mm. You being in alignment with yourself. Hmm. And this is a new beginning. The will is turning. The will of fortune is the number 10. You got temperance as here. And this is about really the ancestors that 
they're cooking up something. You got something brewing in a pot when it comes to you, okay? It's something that's unexpected for you in this energy, but it's definitely a gift. The fact that it falls underneath the Ace of Cups is letting me know that there's something that is being prepared for you that is going to be surrounded about, surrounded about and around love, okay? And you learning not only your moderation, your balance with this temperance angel, it's like gifts and lessons are being given to you in order for you to earn this Ace of Cups. And that was part of the tower, beautiful ones. You got the hermit energy. And this hermit energy is more introspection. You knowing where it is you want to go in life and you sitting with self. You could have a Virgo placement, okay? But you sitting with yourself as you think about moving forward. You could possibly be relocating as well is what I'm getting. Give me the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords for my Leo. Knight of Swords for my Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. What's going on in the energy for Leo? The Knight of Swords. Tell us more about this energy for Leo. Yes, B. Mm, yeah. You going after what it is you want. Period. Chariot is here. This is cancer energy. You could have cancer in your chart, right? And this is three of wands, overall energy. This is more Aries energy. This is you. Really, this is the fire. You expanding. You waiting on your ships to come in because you've manifested something, all right? And this airplane is letting me know not only are you being guided, but you may be traveling to tap into this expansion, okay? When it comes to the three of wands. Yeah, you're on fertile ground. This is where you are wanting your wands to grow. Yeah, you're bossing up in this energy. You're straight emperor mode. Heavy on the Aries. Like, it's a lot of, you could have an Aries placement, but your father figure could be Aries as well or have Aries in their chart. Look, there's something being balanced out in this energy. All right? Justice, this is Libra energy. There's balance that's coming. Wow. Because again, things have to end. A death is here. That's that tower energy, okay? Scorpio energy. Let's talk about it some more. Mm. Give me the Will of Fortune spirit for my Leos. Will of Fortune for Leo. Will of Fortune. Thank you. Yes, B. All right. Bam. All right. Let's talk about it. So look, you got a queen of cups that's watching you. Uh-huh. Put up and switch these energies. Or you are this queen of cups and you're being watched, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Someone is definitely, or you're watching this queen of cups is what I'm getting. You're definitely watching a queen of cups energy. Someone who you're sweet on. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Look. In your future, there's a Queen of Cups energy. They could have a Pisces placement. They could also have a Scorpio water placement. Heavy on the Pisces, though. This is Pisces energy, right? With the Page of Swords, you're watching a Queen of Pisces, a Queen of Cups energy. This is someone who's sweet and kind. You see this energy as a Queen of Pentacles, and the high priestess energy. And there's an offer here on the table that you're trapped in your head because it's the king of cups energy. Wow. Let's talk about it. Okay. Tell us more. Who is Leo watching? Give me this page of swords. Yeah. What's going on? Page of swords for Leo. Bam. And high priestess energy who wants to go, you want to go passionately towards this energy or vice versa. Any way you cut it, this is definitely going in. You could be in this high priestess mode and watching what it is you know and sitting in the energy of this passion when it comes to wanting to go after someone passionately. You feel some type of way. Uh-huh. Our flipping switchies energies, but look. This is the Seven of Cups. 
this is Scorpio energy. Someone could have been in their head, actually uh, uh, delusional, okay? Thinking about all the castles and the sand and the jewelry and the gold and the love and the beer. And like somebody was just, they were being deceived, okay? And this energy is what I'm getting. Yeah. And when it came to a Knight of Cups, a love offer. Someone could have put a love offer on the table for you that had you trapped in your head. Mm. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, Spirit. Ace of Cups. This is that gift that's given when it comes to abundance and love, all right? A new feeling. Ace of Cups for my Leo. It's All right. Damn. Wow. Some lies, okay? That's what I got some deception this is aquarius energy now this is more air energy so when it comes to this love is something that either this was an illusion you told yourself or you created this illusion or it was created for you leo okay because there's definitely some communication that someone wants to be had look somebody is going to want to tell the truth about some lies because they could miss out on the opportunity is what i'm getting and somebody's stuck in their head about it, too, with the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords with the Ace of Cups for Leo. Seven of Swords with the Ace of Cups for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. Yeah, they're stuck in their head about it. Mmm, under judgment. Yeah, look. There's something new happening in the energy when it comes to this phoenix rising energy as well as eight of swords someone is stuck in their head and it, it's like being placed placing yourself under judgment for possibly something that wasn't told overall energy it could have created a tower mm, for a king of cups energy wow mm. That's to make to the queen. Let's talk about it. Give me the... What is this eight of swords? What is this eight of swords energy? Thank you, spirit. Something is telling me your person, they already know. Yeah. Ancestors have been talking. Eight of swords. All right, yeah, yeah, and look, I can't make this up. Leo, here you go, sticking out, the shoe, the strength. This is an offer, a solid offer, okay? And behind you is the star, okay? There's some healing that you want to see happen in this energy, for sure. It's possibly with a Queen of Swords energy. This is Libra, this is Air, Gemini, as well as Aquarius energy, but... You know, you could be caught in your head about some honesty that needs to take place. The sword is out here. Somebody's demanding some honest conversation is what I'm getting. In order to heal this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Someone could be in their ego about it too and it's hurting them. That came out in the oracle. Give me the two of wands. Two of wands. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Two of Wands for my Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Esprit. Yeah, this is a love offer. Mm. And this is a... Somebody wants to come with this emotional love offer. And they really, really want to. But they feel some type of way. They're very passionate about this energy. Uh-huh. Mmm. Four of Cups. Somebody wants to collaborate. They feel like this is a missed opportunity. This person is manifesting. Wow. I split the deck to your energy, beautiful ones. <laughs> Look, the strength. You are manifesting. And this energy, Knight of Cups, when it comes to this new beginning in love. This emotional love offer. Either you want to see it come towards you, okay? Or you need to be the one to make it happen because it was already given to you is what I'm getting. All right. Yeah. Two of Wands. 
Yeah, don't let don't let pride hold you back from passion. Because remember, you're in your purpose, and the only way to stay aligned in your purpose is to be true to who you are, right? You got the two of pentacles is here. This is about being in balance, possibly juggling or doing too much, okay? Two of Pentacles with the Two of Wands in this energy. Give me more Two of Pentacles spirit for my Leo. Mm, that's way too many. Spirit said take this one. Wow. Yeah. Look, juggling, doing too much, okay? Four of Wands. It, it's, it's shaking a solid foundation. Something that was solid. Something that is solid in the energy. This is a union with really a twin flame energy, okay? Uh -huh. And this is a soulmate energy. Someone who was meant to go on this journey with you. Someone who you will be successful with in this energy. Keeps you on your will of fortune. Give me the Four of Wands. Tell us more. Four of Wands. All right. Thank you. Yeah, look, the Hierophant is here. This is the most high. Look, you could be manifesting this energy. The two of, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles is here. You could be manifesting this energy because there are nine of Pentacles. There's someone sufficient and who is fertile in the energy, okay? You got the Hierophant here. This Hierophant energy is all about really you connecting with source you getting guidance from source i split the deck to the two of cups come on now when it comes to a divine union right uh-huh let's talk about it Ooh, beautiful energy leo give me the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles for my leo ten of pentacles thank you it's a new beginning all right it came out super cross almost in the reverse but something is telling me, look, this chariot, if you don't go after what it is, you got the chariot on top of the knight of swords. This is assertively, this is like, look, quit BSing, move on it, all right? Because things are changing. And something new is here to be created in the energy, okay? But the fool is out here. This is a new beginning. Either you miss a new beginning because you stay stuck in the past or you go after creating something new, overall energy, okay? That is really a God-given gift for you to be able to tap into to do, okay? Let's talk about it. I split the deck. There's some chaos, some war, some competition around you. Is that what you sit around and sit in, okay? No, you got to bring a death to this energy. And some of you have and are in the energy of bringing a death to this energy because it's delaying process, okay? It is. Give me the fool. Give me the fool. And the energy it came out on, spirit. Give me the fool. Thank you for my Leos. Thank you. All right. Bam. Look, five of swords. Look, this is defeated. People are standing defeated in your energy, but it's no longer, uh, it's senseless for you to stand around and try to fight anyone, all right? This is someone who's defeated. You gather your swords and you get to go in because these people are going to have to walk away eventually, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. They're wounded in this energy. But your new beginning is requiring for you to know when you've already won the war, okay? Two of Swords is here. This is about you making a decision, okay? No longer creating a stalemate energy. This means nothing is going anywhere. Nothing is moving, right? And you snooze, you lose last time I checked, okay? I mean, because I, that's just the way the energy is. Don't ever think that someone, you know, look, we hear the saying, if it's for me, it's for me. Not if you don't know it's for you. No one's going to stay stuck on stupid because you're stuck, okay? So look, two of swords is here. Make your mind up. Get your mind right, uh-huh. And you're still holding on to this energy? I mean, you, dude, this is torture right here. If you're sitting in a place where you can't make your mind up and you're holding on to someone else's energy, don't do that to yourself. I spit the deck. Look, that is lower chakra energy. That is obsessiveness. It's planting seeds that won't grow. Come on now. Uh-huh. Spit the deck to the devil when it comes to that. That's why I'm saying, look, don't do it. You only hurt yourself, okay? So, 
Let's talk about this four swords right here. Give me the four swords. It came out in your cards. I love how spirit is just flowing with this growth. This is energy, that maturation that you're stepping into. I see it, beautiful ones. Give me the four of swords, okay? Regardless of how old you are, maturity is maturity. Every year, every trip around the sun, you are maturing. Look, I can't make this out. Are up. Two of swords is here. This is you contemplating in this four swords energy, retreating to contemplate, to really think about some things, to make a decision so you're not double-minded. And you're in this energy of holding on tight to your wish being fulfilled. Nine of Cups energy, okay? So, yeah, let's spirit walk it like you talk it. Beautiful ones, let's talk. Give me the temperance. Give me the temperance. There is balance being made in this energy, okay? Mm. But you're feeling stuck. This is someone, you know, staying stuck in a place where things aren't getting any better. In the upright, the Eight of Cups is about you moving on towards things that are better because you were able to not be confused in your mind with the Seven of Cups, right? But there's balance that's happening to this energy with the Timbers Angel. You got the ancestors that are guiding you. This is the things that are hidden is what you don't know. Overall energy is the moon, right? So let's talk about it. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups, Spirit. For Leo, Eight of Cups. Tell us more. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. Okay, look. King of Cups is here, beautiful ones. And the Queen is already out here. This is your mate. And it's something that's holding you back. But in this energy, you're bossing up in this energy this is who you know you are flip and switch these energies you're a boss and this is about speaking from the heart it practicing your emotional intelligence when it comes to the seven of cups energy all these different choices you think you have there's only one queen of cups for you yeah and she got the biggest cup he got the biggest cup it's like you know <sighs> Wow, I just heard a bird in the hand beats two in the bush. I just heard that. I split the deck. You're going to have to put a death to some things. And this is a rebirth. Yeah. When it comes to who it is you collaborate with, you're going to have to end some collaborations. And you know this, okay? Whoever it is you've been collaborating with. Uh, tell us more. Tell us more about the hermit energy. This is that introspection, okay. Wow, yeah. You've been thinking about these three of cups. Either you're celebrating with someone or you no longer want to participate in three cups, three of cups energy, because it's putting a burden on this here energy of a two of cups, quit playing. You want the three or you want the two? What is it you want to do, Leo? Because mm, this is a new love. This is new feelings, what you got. You do. Uh, could be with a Libra, but baby, it's some justice and some balance happening in this energy. I love it. I split the deck. This new beginning is going to be stable. And it's coming in in a slow horse, but Spirit is telling me, look, you better hurry it up because the strength is here, okay? Uh-huh. You Look, this is something that is strong, and it got the emperor. This is you bossing up. This is you coming with something stable, something solid to offer, something strong, and this is you coming anew, all right? So whoever it is you're dealing with in this energy, whether you're this king or queen of cups, you're coming in strong with the emotions that you have, more sure of what it is that you're working with and what you have to offer, and with some honesty is what I'm getting because that's the only way it can happen. You've been consulting with your higher self with this higher fin energy here, okay? Let's close out with the higher fin energy spirit. Higher fin energy, higher fin energy. Tell us more. Tell us more. Give us this energy spirit for my Leos. Thank you, Spirit. It's me. 
all right gonna have to definitely put a death to some things okay it's either you want to live or die trying all right you could have scorpio <laughs> in your chart seven of pentacles is your overall energy you're investing you're watching your seeds come through. This is about everything that you've already invested. Where do you want to see? Do you want to see it grow? Do you want to see it live? This is new energy when it comes to you creating something. In this page of wands energy, this is you starting a fresh new thing, putting those burdens down, ten of wands. You see how they are bringing them to set them down somewhere, okay? Yeah, and part of those burdens are chaos, fighting, competition, whatever it is that's keeping you apart from truly being in a place of the sunshine, which you are, right? And your expansion. Yeah, there are places you are going to want to go in this energy. Mm -hmm. You know the truth about a Queen of Pentacles energy. This is a Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. Yeah, you know the truth about this energy. And you're leaving this energy out in the cold. You are. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. And they're broke because they don't have you anymore. So whose problem is that? You're in this Ace of Pentacles energy. And of course, people are worried about it. However, you made your choice when it comes to the lovers. Beautiful Leo. Happy birthday. <laughs> This is your monthly read. This is your Lionsgate portal energy. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share, become a part of this beautiful metaphysical oasis of a dynasty, okay? Anything that you need from me can be found in the description section below. I will follow up with a part two with Aries as well as Sagittarius for the elements and I will see you soon in the energy. I am Empress 444 and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.